Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dishonored. I'll fix my mic for a second. Uh, last time on Dishonored, we kidnapped Sokolov, and now we're gonna go see him, maybe interrogate him. Royal physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there is love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Okay, I guess do we talk to him? You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Let's see if the rats are hungry. Sorry, sir. Not rats. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, We'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. You too. All right, now we got to go see Samuel. Oh, okay. I hello. hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Okay. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked So it. before we leave, I want to Oh hey Emily. We can't talk to you, can we? Okay. Um I wanna see about going into the shop. Where's the shop at? Okay, I'm here, but for some reason this is locked, so I had to teleport my way up here. I could have probably gone through another door, but that's weird. Why is this blocked off? <clears throat> I was going to try to get some sleep darts. Consider the Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Sure am. Gosh, I am exhausted. Hopefully I don't pass out during recording.
region's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Wow, that got me flying. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, tall boys, uh, they, they are not fun to mess around with, I'll tell you that. They are very, very stressful. Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Coldridge prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Okay. Oh yeah, we ended up getting Ben Time level 2, so that's good. Um... There's nothing really I can do that doesn't like uh like shadow kill or something like that. I like I'm trying to do uh low chaos ending. So I've gotten like a lot of the passive ones. I could like do this. Sprint much faster. That'll be good. But uh, overall movement speed is increased. Uh, that that'll be really good. How much is that actually? Three. Okay. Uh, drop assassinating somewhere and gives you a bit of mana. Nope, can't do that. Same costume. Invitation, please. Meant to get another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tough. Right this way, sir. You're not going to have fun. Maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being easy. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch a plan. Whoa, well, hello! Mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now... Now we can just freely yes, walk around weird. instead of having yeah. to sneak around. Guards, gentlemen, gentlemen. Alright, where is that bone charm? Right there. Let's see what we got this time. Unnerving target one. Enemies have a slight chance to miss with guns. Okay. Well. I wish there was more stuff for it to be like uh, more stealth mode. Because a lot of the stuff that's like like the power ups and uh, the charms, a lot of it's like playing the game 
running gun, blasting everything, stabbing everything. You don't really care, you're just going around shooting and stabbing. Uh, not really much uh, being stealthy, which I think makes the game a little bit more fun. Lord Shaw, boil party. Okay, we have to go see Lord Shaw because we need to give that guy a letter from Lord Pendleton. Yeah. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I remember something happens. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. Uh... A oh. contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Okay. Three. I'm using my mouse. Two. One. Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh please help me can just Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. We shot him like a bunch of times before and it didn't work. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Uh. Nice. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed. I believe so. What most people don't remember is wow. the rats came a half a year before the Empress died, and the plague too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Excuse me. All right, we have a rune downstairs. Holy cow! This music is so loud. Okay, where's the downstairs area? Okay, but I can't go there. Not yet, at least. Okay, I gotta turn on this music. Well, how are we gonna do that? Where's the... Okay, the cords lot go over here. Whale oil closet key needed. Oh, well, doesn't that just stink? Now I have to find a key. <laughs> we just signed the guest book. So wait, hold on. Corvo is here. Okay. Oh, she just. Uh. You don't have a key. You do have a key. Well, that was easy. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Well, we got caught. Close it, close it, close it. Okay. I'm just hoping that they're not going to sit here and try to... ...do stuff. Careful. The Wall of Light is a gift from the Lord Regent, designed to keep his good friends safe. I doubt you qualify. Isn't this supposed to be working? I'm looking forward to the party tonight, despite the prospects of so many boorish men talking about their business failures. What I wouldn't give to meet a fine young music musician in this horrible town. Someone who appreciates the harpsichord, for instance, and could write me a song, would you? Oh, I didn't mean teleport. Here are the three costumes for your party. It pains me that I couldn't, I can't be there, though I'm sure you understand why. I know you're going to look lovely in black. I've enclosed a skeleton key to a Dunwall Tower. When you visit me, no barrier will become, will come between us. HB. Um. Okay, got the key. Favorite more. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. Okay. Well, here we are. What shall we do with ourselves? <clears throat> I, d I don't know what to do. Nothing to say. You are an odd one under that mask. Like, am I actually supposed to knock you out? Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> What's my objective? Uh, okay. Oh, I have to assassinate her? Very classy. <clears throat> well, I was gonna talk to that guy, but I don't know what happened to him. Hello, the Boyles hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> Overall chaos was low, good. Uh didn't kill anyone. Um, that is this uh how how are we gonna be able to not kill anyone if we have to kill Lady Boyle or Lydia? I don't know. Game makes no sense sometimes. <clears throat> but I love this game. Hmm. Lord 
Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I trust you enjoyed the Attention, toils. Dunwall citizen. The masked criminal is believed to be hiding in a quarant. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention. Got a rune. Uh, one more rune and we'll be able to have, uh, agility level 2. Then after that, there's really nothing to do. Oh, right here. Hey, let's go. Agility level 2. <clears throat> Nanos note, whoever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have enemies, certainly, or yeah, certainly we boil women in a way. You've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along from one of my servants through another who knows another to one of yours. May you never cross, may we never cross paths again. I wonder who could have left that. Because, like, I haven't really been consistent with playing this game. So, I've kind of, like, forgotten some stuff. So, I wonder who I could have spared. <clears throat> it says, us boil women. So, it could have been one of the sisters. I mean, they just didn't like the other sister that we killed. Hmm. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. All right, Samuel L. Jackson. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. Yep, let's do it. Is this gonna be the last time that we see you? Probably not. I'll probably bring us back over here. This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. 
another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. The broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Region will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Oh, that scared me. All right, Samuel. I'll be back. Nope. <laughs> that was a big nope. <laughs> Aldo got docked for whistling on duty. Region asked, How's he going to hear this assassin come? Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. Huh? Ooh, no, no, no. There's a key on him. Water lock side door key. So... There's that going on, but there's the... where I can rewire it. Hmm. Oh, but we can do this. Oh, crap. Okay, hopefully nobody follows us in. Your report, General Tobias? Everything is secure on the grounds, Lord Regent. It won't hurt to check again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bedroom. Begging your pardon, sir, but I think it would be best if you stay in your safe room on the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. Trust you and your men can handle the tower security. Double the guard if you have to. Come see me before you finish your rounds. Yes, as you wish, Lord Regent. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes, sir. the wire
Mord Regent Chamber Key. Awesome. We need that. <sighs> okay. Don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Nine three five. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Nine three five. I gotta remember that. Is there like an optional thing where if I don't kill him? Oh, okay. So I could either kill him or I could take the uh, audiographs and ruin him. All right. Well. Wait, what? Can I not? Okay, hold on. Okay. Oops. Lord Spymaster, we had a specific agreement and I planned around it. The Royal Protector wasn't part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone, so the price of the job just went up. Uh, send the coin to the alternate dead drop or you can be sure we'll be call we'll be call we'll come calling. Gosh. Um Dodd. However, you say that. Very lay. Ew. What's a uh, one final rest on your bed before you get sent to uh, execution? All right, here we go, guys. This is this is where it ends. Um, or I believe so. As soon as we play this audiograph, that's it. Here we go. Oh, wait, do it to press play or something? Yeah, this is awkward. What are you doing? I order you to put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich men if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Yes. Ready for the walk to Coldridge Prison. Yes, sir. Justice. 
Wait, I wonder what would happen if we were just walk up to him. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, they found out what really happened, but they still want to kill me. That's cool. All right, well. At least now we know. And knowing is just half the battle. Oh, wait, do we have to go down here to do the, uh... That's where the doors are. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bless me. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. But oh well. I didn't really take much long. I didn't really take long to... ...be to give up. Almost there. Holy cow, that was a headache and a half getting out. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yes, I am. Get me out of nice here. Me, Corvo. All right, let's go. And we got uh, low chaos, and we didn't kill anybody. Look at that. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Congratulations, Corvo. You beat the game. We fucking did it. We beat the game. Corvo! Everyone says you did something good tonight. Well, hello to you too. Hey! He's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics. Awesome. And cosmology. Now, bedtime. My favorite time. Where I will dream my life away. That's a 50 song. I'm not actually dreaming my life away. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? What happened? Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. 
You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Uh, what? I'm sorry, something terrible, Corvo, but I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully, you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. I totally forgot about the, like everything. Uh, so that was like a surprise to me because I had forgotten like that had happened. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. Wait, so they know that I'm alive? you when you visit his shrines I visited those shrines too and I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress but I don't know you who you are and who you fight for you're a mystery and I can't allow that oh no Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, <laughs> so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Yeah, we still have our mask. Okay. I'm going to leave this episode off here. Big plot twist. Totally forgot about that. Um, I'm probably like just a couple minutes of finishing off this game. Maybe not. Uh, probably just a little bit long. Uh, a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it off right here. And then we will pick up on this. Uh then next episode we're gonna defeat dishonored hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one